I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. The vision of Doral Academy Charter Middle High School is to set the standard for outstanding student achievement while providing a safe and nurturing academic environment. Rise and shine, Firebirds. I'm Maria Gonzalez. Today is Friday, October 9th, 2020, and welcome back to the fourth edition of our weekly show, The Rise. This weekend is going to be stormy, setting the mood for the watch and scary movies, with scattered thunderstorms, a high of 87, and a low of 76. This is the perfect atmosphere for an October weekend. Coming up on today's show, Taylor Bland with an insight on how Spanish Honor Society is giving students a connection to their culture, Alaya Mendoza with tips on how to embrace your Hispanic roots, Marcelo Villarojito reminding students not to be that guy when returning to school. Esteban Rodriguez with your trending topics. And lastly, your weekly announcements. All of this and more coming up on today's edition of The Rise. In local news, this week marks the beginning of a staggered back-to-school reopening in Miami-Dade. Safety measures have been implemented across the country and the superintendent said that there have been deep sanitation efforts as well as a nurse at every school. Elementary level students went back first and high school students returned on Wednesday. In national news, on Tuesday, the legendary guitarist Eddie Van Halen passed away at 65 years old due to cancer. The lead guitarist of the band Van Halen is said to be one of the greatest guitar players of all time. His death was announced by his son Wolf Van Halen on Twitter, saying he was the best father anyone could have ever asked for. The members of the band and fellow legendary musicians later on expressed their heartbreak towards his news on social media. Every club here at Doral is unique, but one thing they all have in common is their ability to make students feel like they belong. Spanish Honor Society allows students to feel a connection to their heritage while still giving them the opportunity to be involved in their community. Here's Taylor Bland with the story. Hispanic Heritage Month celebrates people from all Hispanic countries. Doral Spanish Honor Society maintains pride for the Hispanic culture all year round. Here's how they reflect on the importance of this month. So our mission is at SHS is to make the most out of all culture every month. In order to achieve that, every month we hold a meeting giving presentations about a different country each month so that our members know that the country that they put in their application is taken into account. By looking at different cultures and lives in different perspectives, you know, it, uh, it makes you a person that is more tolerant and more uh, smart-wise to what the world has to offer. This month brings out the culture in our society by celebrating, you know, the true uh, traditions, the music, the history, and the dance. And I think it's very important to know your origin because when you know your identity, you get to know yourself better. The language belongs to all of us and the culture becomes a, an essential part of it. As we're currently celebrating Hispanic Heritage Month, it is important for us to remember where we came from. Here with some tips is Elia Mendoza. Primero, get your groove on and listen to some Spanish music with artists from your country. From salsa and bachata to reggaeton, Hispanics have provided the world with some great hits that are amazing to dance to. Maybe even grab a partner if you want to share your moves with someone else. Something else you can do is make or eat some traditional food. Agarra tu mamá y papá and ask them to teach you how to make some delicious arepas or empanadas. This can make for an amazing bonding activity in which one can connect con su cultura and spend time with their familia. Por último, aprendete la historia. Although many believe that this month is targeted to all Hispanics, it is specifically dedicated to honor both fallen and active duty Hispanic Americans who served in the armed forces. Not only did they leave their culture and families, they also fought and risked their lives for this country. Always remember to be proud of your past, who you are, and where you came from. Adios Firebirds. 
With all the new rules for going back to school, it can be hard to remember what the most important ones are. Here's Marcelo Villarojito outlining the guidelines to save yourself the unnecessary embarrassment. Good morning, Firebirds. I'm Marcelo Villarojito, and here's a guide of everything not to do as we slowly return to school so you don't end up being, you know, that guy. Hey, Nicole, can I have some of your water? Nope. You see, in the midst of a highly contagious pandemic, it's probably not a good idea to be sharing drinks which is why you should bring your own water bottle so you can refill it and stay hydrated. Look, look, if you ever get as lost as I just did, there's arrows all over the floors, hallways, and stairs, and they only go one way, so be careful. And if you ever don't know where to go, look down. Make sure your mask is over your nose to protect those around you and yourself. I hope my own mistakes helped you realize what you shouldn't do when you get back to school. Hopefully we'll all get the hang of it soon. For Firebird TV, I'm that guy, Marcelo Villarojito. Going back to school can be hectic, but getting your news shouldn't be. Here's Esteban Rodriguez keeping you updated with everything on trending topics. Good morning Firebirds, I'm Esteban Rodriguez here with this week's trending topics. Reggaeton star J Balvin and McDonald's have collaborated in their latest celebrity meal. Fans have taken to Twitter to discuss which songs they will be blasting through the drive-thru. The J Balvin meal consists of a Big Mac, medium french fries, and an Oreo McFlurry. So let's just hope that the ice cream machine is finally working. Social networks and celebrities have teamed up to inform registered voters about the upcoming election. October 19th is early voting, so make sure to tell all your family and friends that are 18 and older. Lately, artists have been coming up with new music and celebrating anniversaries such as Mariah Carey's The Rarities, which features 13 different tracks of never-before-released music. In honor of her 30th debut anniversary, Mariah Carey has gone all out for her fans. Well, that's it for this week's Trending Topics. I'm Mr. Rodriguez, now back to your anchor. Here are your weekly announcements. Key Club will be giving middle school homework tutoring every Friday starting today from 4 to 6 p.m. in Ms. Suarez's Zoom room. There's a football game tonight at 7 against Homestead Preparatory. Tomorrow, there is a cross-country meet at Tropical Park. Golf has districts this weekend with boys competing at Hammock Creek and girls competing at Indian Hills. They will both be competing on Sunday. Good luck, Firebirds! Thank you for joining us on today's edition of The Rise. Make sure to follow us on all of our social medias at Firebird TV to stay updated with all of the latest news. From all of us here at Firebird TV, we hope you have a happy Friday and a wonderful weekend.